In this case, when I take your lower body away, I'm forcing you to use your hands, and I'm not letting you jump into the pitch. So ideally on this, all these things you want to do with one knee has to be an outside pitch, because we're working on two things, hitting to the opposite field and two strike approach. To hit with two strikes, you want to wait longer, let the ball get deeper. By doing that, you wait. Well, you have to do the same thing on an outside pitch, right? You don't chase and hit an outside pitch way up here. You have to let the ball get deep in the strike zone. So the guy that's flipping this drill, if you do come in on your own, needs to make sure he's flipping it over the outside part of the plate. And with the way we have it set here, I would try to throw it pretty much from this white line to the home plate area, really outside. It's not something that's going to be, if it's an inside pitch, I'm counting on him not swinging at it because that becomes a bad habit for him if he chases an inside pitch. So I'll go back here and we'll show you what this looks like. Rick's job is to hit the ball into that net there. I'm going to flip it outside. He's waiting on it to go the other way. Perfect. Everything is an opposite field approach. He's got a weight on it, short and compact. Nice. Everything's in the side net. He's hitting the ball hard. So one knee is all about hitting with two strikes, so you wait longer. You wait longer on an outside pitch. It helps you with both parts of the game.